And Sky uh, loved that side of it and elevated me um, to do um, at um, Cardiff, the Millennium Stadium, Liverpool versus Manchester United. And Liverpool won, and I was meant to interview Gerard Hullier, the winning manager, but Jeff Shreves um, didn't do as he was told. He ran on the pitch while I was interviewing Michael Owen and interviewed Gerard Hullier. Mm. So I was left with Sir Alex. So I was left with Sir Alex, and Sir Alex is in the, sta- sta- in, in the dressing rooms in the stadium for a good 40 minutes after the game been berating his players and everything else like that and so he came he came out and I think you know and so the first thing I said was um, was you know you've been a long de- a long time there Sir Alex you know it's a bit of a steward's inquiry on the game yeah. and I got his back up straight away um, uh, he'd been involved in in a horse thing and it was just one of my terms yeah yeah, Yeah. with Rock of Gibraltar and all that sort of stuff and there was no implication from my point of view but obviously that's how it happened and he got his back up with me straight away and then the the next question did go well and he wasn't answering the questions well and then uh, I thought oh crikey anyway I thought oh well it's not that bad and then um, on the Tuesday night Manchester United had a home game and Bryn Law who I work with had to do the interviews after the game at Old Trafford and uh, he called me straight after the game and he went um, oh, w- what have you done to upset Sir Alex I said why he said uh, I asked him uh, for an interview and he said yeah as long as you don't ask me stupid questions like Chris Kamara so uh, anyway I rang Sir Alex um, the, uh, his secretary because uh, when I was a manager um, Howard Wilkinson said to me Ring Sir Alex, he'll help you. And so I rang him. Uh, so like about two weeks into my job at Bradford, and he said, yeah, you know, the thing is, you've got to be your own person and do this and do that. And, and it was brilliant, great help. And, uh, uh, and so I rang him a couple of times more, and I also rang him to get players. And so uh, I rang his secretary straight away, uh, Lynn Laffin, her name is, uh, L.A. Double. L A double F I N Lynn Laffin and uh, I rang Lynn and I said, "Can I speak to Sir Alex?" And uh, she says, "Yeah, I'll put you through." Anyway, he didn't take me call. She said, "Oh, I've told him." Uh, anyway, she rang me back about two hours later and said, "I've got Sir Alex for you." Anyway, I said to Sir Alex, "You know, look, I'm sorry, you know," and he, he went, "You know," I said, "I wasn't implying anything at all," and he said, "Oh." I'm, you know, I had a few people say to me, you know, was he trying to make a name for himself? And I said, no, far from it. You know, all the interviews I've ever been doing are, are not like that at all. And so he said, OK, I'll give you one more chance. Thank you, Sir Alex. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>